Hey everyone, this is Lori Delkredecki and I'm coming to you and going to teach, coach, and train this week and probably the next couple weeks on um, some different things on our last trip that we won to Cabo was at the Dreams Resort in, um, in Cabo at the Hyatt Dreams Resort. And so I decided to do a couple trainings on dreams and in your business, thinking about dreams and then going with um, some different things with each word. So dreams, the first letter, of course, is D. So we're going to um, go with for tonight, very quickly, just dreams, decide, determination, dare, and if I get to it, discover. And so, you know, I like to keep these short and sweet. So um, the first thing is dreams. So think about what are your dreams? Like, what are your goals that what you want to get in your business? Why did you say yes? Why did you pull out your credit card? And the thing is not just those top dreams, right? The top things you thought about, but dig down deep. The, they say go down seven levels. Ask yourself when you say why, then ask yourself why again on that answer. And then when read that answer and say why, go down seven levels. And um, another mentor of mine used to say the why that makes you cry, right? So think about your dreams and what those dreams are and what they mean to you. And then visualize that. So We've done, I created my vision board for this year. And if you haven't done that, I highly encourage you to do that. Um, vision boards are great. It, you know, it gives you a visual representation of your business dreams, including your goals, your values, your aspirations. I put my personal dreams on there also. Um, you can put both on there, right? But you want to, um, you can even get together with people and like conduct a brainstorming session on your dreams and future possibilities and even talk about like challenges for in your industry or the in the network marketing industry or your particular company. And but especially getting other people involved in the process, then that ends up sparking innovative thinking. So like when we did our dream boards, um, I did it with a group of people too that are on my team and another leader in my company headed that up and she helped people to think very innovatively by giving different ideas and talking through it. And, you know, you can think about, you know, your your dream journey and, you know, what your ambitions are, what your vision is, and you want to get all that out. And then you want to get it on paper or on, you know, if you do a digital dream board or in a card and you can send it to yourself, however you want to do it. Um, I do it all the above ways. I um, have it as my screensaver on my computer, my desktop background. I have it I sent it to myself in a card. So I have it on my desk. You know, so there's lots of different things you do. But then you can't just stop there, right? Then you have to decide to make that vision happen. You have to take those actions to move forward. So, you know, the smart goal setting, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time. So you want time bound goals. So you want to create that, right? So like one of my things on my dream board is, you know, we just built our custom dream home and moved into it. And then several pieces of furniture we had custom made exactly the way we wanted. And, you know, I have the car that I wanted. And, but um, in our neighborhood, we have, a neighborhood pool, but I want a custom pool again, like I had a couple years ago. And so that's on my vision board. That's on my dream board. So I am making plans of getting my steps to get to that place so I can build that custom in-ground pool the way that I want it. 
and think of like scenario planning, like walk through different potential outcomes of key decisions that you would make through your business. And that way that's going to help you make informed choices and help you to make those choices with confidence, right? And you want to prioritize what you plan to do and what you decide to do. And when you share those methods with other people, so like I texted my sponsor today, you know, some information and my plans for my dreams and what I'm planning to do and my goals. And, you know, that way, you know, and you tell other people, then it helps to push you through, right? So then my next word is dare. It helps to dare you to go forward and push for those dreams and to make those actions that you need to take to get to the dreams that you want. And that's going to help you build your confidence in talking to other people. It's going to help boost your self-esteem. It's going to help you to take those little risk abilities that, you know, uh, like role-playing or talking to someone else, overcoming your personal challenges of talking to other people, it's going to get you out of your box, right? And get you to move forward towards those dreams. <clears throat> and that's it. You want to think of creative ways to come up with those, you know, any... um solving any problems that you want to fix to get towards the same thing, towards your dreams and dare to move forward and to get better. And think about also like in the past, any failures that you've had, which is, I always say it's not failures. It's always a learning lesson, right? Like I used to teach my kids, it's either a learning lesson of what to do or what not to do, right? How other people treat you, whether it's good or bad or whatever. It's just always learning lessons. It's always life lessons, what to do and what to do more of or what not to do. And so think about that and then learn from any mistakes you've made and then, you know, build your self-esteem that builds your resilience to, to keep pushing forward. And so then the next thing is discover. So discover how to get to your goals. So always, you know, reverse engineer it. So I'm huge on, I'm one of those people that's, I'm very visionary, but I'm also more so very charts and analytics and data. And so analyze your data, figure out how many people it need, you normally talk to. Like I have reports of, you know, how many people I talk to each week, how many people I do, you know, a balance test on each week, how many people I talk to online, where I talk to them at, how many times I've followed up with them, how I followed up with them. Like I keep track of all that stuff. But when you do that, you can identify new opportunities and you can also identify not only your needs or your clients' needs, your customers' needs, your prospects' needs. That's going to help you narrow down different things. And then another thing is to discover networking events. So I used to run 16 networking events a month, every single month, all over Middle Tennessee, in different cities, all over Middle Tennessee, every Thursday and Friday of the month, and all over Middle Tennessee, one a month in a different city. And it was great. I had a, um, a restaurant that was here local, and but they had several different locations and I would meet at the different ones and they were wonderful. And so you need to get out in public, in person, if you can. Now, a lot of people can't and that's okay too. And the same thing, like with me now, I watch my grandbaby several days a week and that's what I choose to do. So I'm not out networking belly to belly like I used to all the time. 
but I still meet with people, whether it's, I do meet with people with it for lunch, for networking with people. And we just have a cute little handsome two and a half year old with us. And, um, or, but I do sometimes go on the days that I don't have him. I meet with people. Um, also I network with people online. I mean, that's one thing that you can do huge just about any time and anywhere. And, but you can also collaborate with people. So find different ways that you can collaborate with people with different things and just talk to other people, network with other people. They don't have to be your prospect or your client or your customer or your distributor, but you can get their different persp perspectives on things. And then one huge thing in discovering is also learning your personal development and discovering how to build yourself. So read books, listen to books, do audiobooks, podcasts, online courses, all different kinds of stuff. Um, if you've listened to me, studied me, heard me at any time, you've you've known I don't I do love to read, but I don't love to read. I'm not like one of those people that can curl up with a good book and read for a couple hours. And so my limit is about 15 minutes, but I do love to read actual books. Like you can look in my office. It's not totally put together yet, but <laughs> I have lots of books. And so I love to read actual books. I do have my digital library is huge also. And I listen to podcasts all the time. So you can listen to my podcast online, but I listen to other people's podcasts all the time. And the thing is, but like with a book, I read about 15 minutes, but I will try to read a book 15 minutes, two to three times a day. And that doesn't always happen. I always get in 15 minutes a day, but I try to add in another 15 minutes later in the day at some point too. And, but the thing is, you can, that's going to help you in that personal development, which is going to help you discover your leadership and your communication skills and help you with your personal branding. And so then you want to determine like what's going to happen. What are you going to do? How are you going to break down your goals and make them into those actionable, actionable steps? How are you going to make those clear timelines and those milestones, like, you know, for me to build a custom pool in the backyard, um, I don't want to wait two, three, five years, right? I want to be swimming in that pool, preferably this year. I don't know if it'll happen this year, but I'm, I'm planning on it. I'm going to try. Um, but the thing is, you have to have those timelines and you have to have those goals and you have to plan on that, right? And then you want to implement some accountability systems. So telling your sponsor, telling your leaders, telling the people that you look up to, as well as telling other people around you what you're planning on doing. I talked to my husband about that. And, you know, we make goals together, even though he's retired, he loves being retired. And I love working this business, even though I do love being retired with him too. But I love my team and I love my business and I am an entrepreneur at heart and I love to work too. And I love to make goals and have goals and train a team and coach a team. And it helps me to stay motivated and on track. And it will also help you if you reach out to your peers and your, your sponsor and your coach to tell them what your goals and your dreams are to, that will help you to stay on track because you'll know, hey, I told so-and-so about this, so I need to be doing something to taking some action to get towards that goal, right? And then celebrate your achievements. So recognize and reward not only yourself, but if you have people on your team, you know, people on my team, they know I send them cards, of course, I send them books, I send them gifts, you know, for different accomplishments, for traveling on trips. I reward my team and um, signing up other people, you know, like people want to feel valued. They want to feel 
you know, that pat on the back and you don't have to do it, but people usually work harder and they pers persevere more when they feel valued and when their achievements are celebrated. And so, you know, think about those different things as you go through and think about we're, we're still going to fo follow up on the D words in dreams. So just like we stayed at the Dreams Hyatt Resort, and that was one of the most beautiful resorts we stayed at. And but you want to, you know, keep learning and keep developing and, you know, think about what all you want. OK, so remember, of you know, not only dreaming, but then you have to decide to move forward and then you have to dare to move forward. And then you have to discover what do you have to do to move forward? And then you have to determine that you're going to do it. So think of those things. Let me know what you thought of this. Comment below any questions um, or what you want me to train on next. Also, some other D words. I've got some other ones in my head. Uh, what I'm going to add on next week, we'll probably do one or two, maybe even three weeks on the D and then we'll go to the R. But um, Hopefully this helped you and um, like, share, follow me. If you're listening on the podcast, please give my podcast a five-star review. Um, subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube, Facebook, share it, Instagram, share it, TikTok, all those things. And we'll see you next week. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Have a great night.